Hello, everybody. My name is Lindsay McKeon, and we are talking about my movie, Shredder. <laughs> Whew, how did I get started in the business? Um, I was probably 10, and I started doing commercials because my mom uh, was modeling and doing commercials. And then I got to be about 11 years old, and I was talking on the phone too much. And that was, you know, before cell phones, so I would take the what is it, a rotary phone with a cord and hide it in my room and under my pillow and talk and get in trouble. And so my parents thought I needed an extracurricular activity. And my mother was going to take me to a fencing class one night and I was game. And then her agent called and said, why don't you take Lindsay to this acting class? She picked me up from school, asked me about it. I said, sure, whatever. Um, I went and I had an amazing time. I, I came out and I was like, oh my God, I've never felt so free and uninhibited in my entire life. So then on started my career. My acting teacher was a manager. He wanted to manage me. And really the career happened quickly after that. When I was really young, I was a huge fan of horror thriller. I would read, um, um, but I, I would just sit there all day. I'd read in the car. I'd read at dinners. Um, you couldn't get me away from this genre. And then I think I watched Blair Witch. And I got so sick in the theater. I got nauseous. I almost left. It was too much for me to handle. And since then, I feel like... Uh, horror films get too real for me so I don't leave it in the movie theater I'll leave and then I start seeing crazy stuff everywhere and I'm not interested in that life is scary enough for me I don't need to now see you know ghosts and monsters and stuff like that <laughs> I know if looking back now I've done enough horror movies and I've died enough times to be uninterested in dying in a horror movie again. However, back then, I was so young. I think it was very fun for me um, and exciting. And we got to go film in some small town in Idaho and we like took over the entire town and the bars and um, we were all living in the same hotel together, the cast, the crew, and it was a giant party the entire time. It was probably the most fun I've ever had working on something. I think it's been 20 years since I've hung out with Greg Hudson, um, but I do remember him being a very sweet, very kind, likable man to be around. So we were staying in the snow. We were in a little ski town, um, but back then, I'm not a winter sports girl. I grew up swimming, water polo, track, baseball, whatever, all that kind of stuff. Um, I would always get too cold skiing and after 20 minutes on the slopes like I couldn't feel my toes and I was like this is the worst ever. I don't like the ski lifts, they terrify me, I feel like I'm going to fall off, I feel like my leg is going to twist around with these like skis on me so for me I wasn't excited to go out. The one day that was kind of interesting for me was snowboarding because I had never strapped a snowboard to my feet before this movie um, so I was kind of interested to see what that experience was like and there was fresh powder too so it's supposed to be softer on your butt but they literally had us I think so I think somebody was skiing for me they had us just stand on a hill and not do much and we just kept sliding <laughs> like we would slide in <laughs> out of the shot it was it was one of those challenges of shooting we all you know the whole cast and crew we were together I think for four or five weeks it, it, in a small town, in a lodge together, working day in and day out. So you get to be really close and comfortable. And if you don't, then you probably hate the people you're around. He's a sweetheart. Um, he's done a lot with his career. He's a successful writer, I think, on a bunch of shows. Um, always love him. He's just a, a class act type of guy. I think Brad and I became the closest on that set, and we ended up being friends for a long time afterwards. Um, I can say that we had a lot of fun. We would go into town and we would go to dive bars and we would play darts all night and pool and drink and have fun. And then there was one night that it, 
uh, there was an abused woman that was out that we had to like save from her husband and she was breaking down. Um, so it was an interesting, very interesting time. <laughs> What, what was fun for me was hiding behind, I think I was hiding behind some closet door or something like that. And when people hear my scream for the first time, they've all said, wow, that's really intense, terrifying. You have a great horror scream. So. <laughs> No, I don't know if people just like to kill me or if it is because I have a good scream, I'm dramatic, I'm not sure what it is. Um, my most memorable one is my most recent one, playing Tessa on Supernatural. Um, but that's because I was a reaper slash angel, um, but I get to take my own life. And to me, that was a very cool way for this strong female character to, um, to take herself out instead of having a man, Dean, take her out. I thought that was cool. I, sorry, <laughs> just want to say, because that reminded me, it's like, it's always men killing women, right? And I'm so over that. I would love to play a character that's kind of a crazy Jack Nicholson in The Shining character where I get to go around killing people. That would be fun. You know you can't kill me because I'm still a virgin. Yeah, you know, it, it was interesting for us because it's almost one of those horror films that's also kind of comedic. Like, we all got a really big kick out of it. Um, so to us, it was like that border and that blend of scary slash really kind of funny in a sick way. Um, I think that it's incredible to me that we have all of these new, you know, ways to watch films and TV. And it's crazy because, you know, I've done stuff that 15, 20 plus years later, I have a whole new slew of young people watching these films and these TV shows saying they're fans and they really enjoy it. And for me, it's nuts because it happened so long ago, but it, it's really neat that it does continue to live on. <laughs> I'm kind of acting, but not really. I stopped, I mean, I stopped, um, I stopped auditioning and I dropped my managers and agents and now I am producing films and I'm writing TV shows and I'm pitching a reality show, so. Really? Never mind, someone's here to rescue me. I'll be like in my own stuff or my friend's stuff, but honestly, I don't have the same desire to do it anymore as I used to. I like being behind and uh, being able to wear sweatpants if I want to and tell other people what to do. <laughs>